here at the corner of Wills Road and Troy Pitt Road. That's where I left off last time. You can see where it came out of the woods over there. And here's where I'm going. So let's go. Got my bike all locked up there. A new electric bike for commuting for the shuttle part of the trip. Worked great. Yeah. Okay. Going about seven miles today to the Ruth Lake Trailhead. And uh, that trailhead is approximately halfway across Wisconsin on the North Country Trail. So that'll be a nice uh, benchmark to hit. We're in kind of a rolling hill topography here. So there'll be some ups and downs and That'll make it interesting. The buds on the trees are coming out. And uh, looks like a kettle right there. Huh. The bugs aren't really out much yet. I've seen a few uh, horse flies or something like that. But I haven't really had any mosquitoes. So got the head net with just in case. Notice they got some big old pines here, majestic pines to the side. I think that maybe been a timber harvest in there where they left a few. That's nice. There's some more up here. Because most of the trees in here are these fairly young trees and then with the big old red vine mixed in makes for a pretty pretty walk through here now there's a nice pond down there with a beaver dam at the other end it's like a path going down there oh and there's a bench Let's go try that out. Yeah, this is very nice. Oh, so calm and serene. You get to walk and you get that cadence going and you kind of forget what it's like just to sit still and enjoy what you're looking at. This is pretty in here with all the carpet of leaves. Can't see the trail, but there's enough blazes and it's a little bit of indentation where the trail is. You know, it's a nice gentle breeze today, cool breeze. It's in the 60s, so I'm walking with shorts and a t-shirt, but that breeze feels really good. It's pretty dry in here. I wouldn't want to be in here when the forest fire comes through. Oof. Well, this is the cutoff for the Morris Pond campground, campsite on that way. I'm not going to go down there, but take a look at uh, Morris Pond here. That's a nice pond. More like a lake to me, but I guess this is some sort of foundation from a cabin or something or Nice spot. Well, here's the Eric Lake campsite. Lake. So, I think I'm going to just sit here and rest up a little bit. I'm almost halfway through the hike, so uh, time for rest and half a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Well, that was a nice break. Nice spot for a break. Well, let's uh, head down the trail and see what else we can find. I left a little note in the log book there about how nice this campsite is and what a nice day it is for a hike.
One thing that kind of concerned me a little bit along the way is I thought I smelt and still do smell a real faint smell of smoke. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, I wouldn't want to be out here. It's pretty dry if there was a fire. So I'll be glad when I get back to the truck and, and uh, don't have to worry about that. Although, you know, I don't see anything in the sky that looks like a forest fire close so and the smoke that i smelt was pretty far away i'm pretty sure it was pretty diluted so i'm not really worried but it doesn't hurt to be alert well, that's the end of eric lake not sure what else is on the trail the next three point some miles but uh, I presume it'll just be more of the same so uh, wait and see that well, looks like another timber harvest area this uh, Bayfield County Forest I think uh, they must do a very efficient job of growing timber and cutting it because it uh, seems like there's uh, you walk through all different stages of uh, harvest growth and maturity of the forest this is kind of interesting uh, I think this might be where the beaver get into the lake they, they haul all these branches mm -hmm. Or little trees they've chopped down and chewed down and uh, drag them into the lake and get them underwater well underwater so that stuck in the mud or something so that in the winter they can come out of their lodge underwater there under the ice and and get to those branches and eat that bark and that keeps them going all winter long pretty amazing how animals survive well, there we got a nice uh, flowering tree over there. I presume it's a plum or something, American plum, I don't know. There's some big old pines that died here. One that didn't. But I'm guessing the water level just got too high for them and drowned them out. That's the... Uh, Circle of life, I guess. This kind of looks like an old beaver dam that we're walking across. Because it's low on both sides. Yeah, I think that's what this is. Huh. Here's another beaver run here. Hmm. Alright. You tell me, is that poison ivy or sarsaparilla? I don't know. Sure. I'm sure not going to touch it. Alright, so... I believe we're coming to the junction with uh, Banana Belt Road, which is the road I came in, shuttled on with my e-bike. Let's see if I can see my tracks or not, but I see other tracks. Some of this road was uh, pretty soft and uh, I barely got through it, but I got through it. Okay, let's see what we got for mileage is coming up here. Highway A, 2.2 miles, that's where I'm headed. So, we got a little ways left to go. Oh, this is a nice uh, two track through here. Nice wide trail. 
this is why you gotta really pay attention on two tracks. See all them sticks and little trees down? That tells you something. The trail turns back into the woods here. What's this say? Oh, Bob Norlin Overlook. Well, you can see quite a ways. And there's a bench at Lee Oswald Bench. I think I'll sit down. I got less than a mile left, but it's pretty. Been a lot of hills, but uh, nothing, nothing terrible. So, I guess I'll get back to it. Well, coming to County Road A, so getting towards the end of the hike. My truck should be, there it is, across the street over in the trailhead parking lot. And uh, been a good hike, perfect day for it. I would say anybody that's gonna use a bike for a shuttle on this hike, you should use a fat tire bike preferably a fat tire e-bike because some of these dirt roads you know, sand was so soft that uh, I was sinking in and fishtailing and everything to get through it so I I wouldn't recommend anything but a fat tire bike on that for a shuttle okay so here's the trailhead and nice parking spot so that's all I've got for today. Thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed the hike. See you next time. Bye.